hey, Sean, I wanted to talk about media passes, why you want one, what one actually is, and then how to make one. And so getting right into it, a media pass lets you pre-board airplanes, and in some cases can get you sort of past security or into some places to, to film where you wouldn't normally be allowed to. Where a media pass really comes in handy is when you're traveling, and especially flying. If you were to board your plane late, and there's not overhead bin space near your seat, and you have to put your camera gear somewhere else in the plane, or worse, gate check it, and they, they take it underneath, you're in a bad place because sometimes you're not allowed to and you're, the batteries that you have can't be checked and so you can't keep an eye on your bag or it could be actually unsafe and in a lot of cases you end up inconveniencing a lot of passengers around you. Because of that, airlines want you to pre-board if you're media. They don't want to have to touch your gear, they don't want to have to deal with making accommodations or shuffling other customers out of the way to make room for your stuff. So it's easier for everyone if you can pre-board. But so, what is a media pass? The truth is, it's just made up. It's it's nothing. There is no national agency that issues media passes. There's there's no registry for media people that you need to get into or, or prove that you're a part of. A media pass is just something that shows your media. In a lot of cases, you're, you're, when you shoot for hire, if you say go to fly to film an NFL game or go to shoot photos at the Olympics, the Olympics or the NFL will give you a media pass that gets you around the event and past security and things. But when you fly, you show that to the gate agent and say, hey, I'm a photographer, this is all my photographer stuff, see, I'm going to the Olympics. And they're like, oh, okay, go right ahead. This is fine. And because of that, your, your credentials only need to look legitimate enough to convince a gate agent. Because there's nothing actually official about this, if your gate agent had never heard of the Olympics, for example, they would look at you and be like, yeah, I've never heard of the Olympics, that means nothing to me. Because there's nothing official, there's no supervisor that's going to help you, two things get you to pre-board. Having a media pass that looks official and being genuinely polite and straightforward about what you're trying to do. You're not trying to use this to pre-board when you don't need it. You're using this to make your gear safer and your fellow passengers have a convenient trip. So to make a media pass, there's, there's really only two guidelines. One, make it look official, and two, don't actually lie. Don't lie about anything. So my media pass says media at the top of it. It's got my name. It says executive producer, director of photography. I am both of those things. Start date 11, 2008. That's when I started my company. And then it has a QR code, which just goes to the homepage of my website. And then it has our company logo, Boom Reactive on it. Nothing on here is a lie, but it's designed in a way that makes it look somewhat official. And if the light is catching it right, there's actually holograms of a globe that goes over this. And it means nothing. It's just, it looks official, and when somebody takes a peek at it, it's got a better chance of convincing them. I've seen people make media passes that are sort of bigger, that look like a concert credential that you put on a lanyard, and in my experience, I had one like that for a while, and those get looked at and sort of dismissed a lot faster than something that looks like a permanent, long-term media pass, and especially these vertical ones that you can clip onto your bag like this rather than look like something that may be a couple years old. Um, I know sometimes people have tried to use old like NFL credentials to, to try to get on a, a flight that's many years after the fact. And so gate agents can look for that, but something that looks timeless and that looks modern is what's going to be the most helpful to you. So, so I'm gonna walk through exactly how I made this badge on expressid.net, and I wanna be clear, this is not sponsored, I'm not paid by them, but my old media pass was made using them, and I liked it, and it worked really well for me, and they offer some cool options, and it's not that expensive, and I just made my new one last week, uh, and I love how it turned out. So this isn't paid, this isn't sponsored or anything, but it's an easy website. I know a lot of people talk about laying this out themselves in Photoshop and stuff, but a lot of times when you upload those files to different printers, they can end up distorting them or lowering the resolution and it doesn't look as crisp and as clean. So I used the, this sounds like an ad, I swear it's not. I used their online design tool to lay this out and it turned out really, really crisp and high resolution. So, so when you get to expressid.net, all I did was click make a badge and then of the options, I chose the vertical one because I like how those hang on my bag. The horizontal one would sort of stick and get caught on stuff. This hangs right in line with my uh, backpack strap and it, it doesn't get in my way. So I'm gonna choose 
this custom vertical one and here's the different prices to make these it's 12 bucks and i think it's like 550 for shipping um for one to ten of them or something like that so if you're if you're getting one it's going to end up being around 17 bucks um if you're getting more than one it's going to be you know 24 plus five it does they don't gouge you on shipping for each one but i'm going to say customize this design and this is where it loads their little id maker and so all i did starting at the top with background i scrolled down and i like the pink and, and red color schemes for all my boom stuff. So I chose this background, which puts that there. Then I came in and I don't know why, for this has always been the case, but when you go to add text, there's a drop down that says gym or picture that you can't really do anything with. Don't know why that's there. So I'm gonna say add new text to canvas. I'm gonna type media and I'm gonna switch the font to impact just cause I like impact. I'll make it all caps. And I drag this up and just stretch it. You don't have to pick font sizes or anything. It sort of shows you what that is as you stretch it out. So I'm gonna put media like that and then come down to images, uh, actually to upload, upload your artwork. So on my desktop here, I've got my hat logo. I'm gonna pull that in. It takes a second to load. Then I just drag that on to my badge here and I'm gonna resize it down into the corner. Then I'm gonna add my face so that I am a part of it. I'm just gonna resize that so that it fits there and looks like a nice ID photo. And then the other thing that I like doing which I think makes it look more official, I'm just going to go to QR code generator. I'm just Googling. Um, This isn't an endorsement for anything, but if I type in boomreactive.com, it churns for a second, and there's the QR code that takes you to boomreactive.com, and all I did was I zoomed in a little bit, I took a screenshot of this on my Mac, and then when I came back to my badge, I can say upload, there's my screenshot of my QR code, and I can drag this on, and now I have a QR code that goes to my website on the bottom of my badge. I'll make my logo a little bigger there. And then lastly, I went to text and I said, Sean Hotley. Fold that down, shrunk it a little bit, add new text to canvas. And I said, So that's all I had to do to design the media badge. And again, the reason I did it through here, it's not rendering the text and, and putting it anywhere. This is all their vector uh, design. So you don't lose resolution uh, if you lay this out in Photoshop or something like that. So you click submit. The other thing I did to mine on the back side, and actually if I come back here, um, you can switch to the back side. I added a little paragraph which is found on Southwest's website, which is where I fly all the time, that says, Media cameras are exempt from the sizing box restriction imposed on other carry-on luggage and, if carried on board, must be stowed in accordance with FAA safety regulations. So I put that there, if only as a reminder, to make it look more official, but to show that sometimes my camera bag may exceed the carry-on bag size, but I should be allowed to carry it on because that's the FAA's actual regulation and that's Southwest's policy. So, so you can come over, click add new text to Canvas and on the back you can type this in. Then you click submit and here's the two handy things that I really like. So when you scroll back down here, you can add a slot punch for 50 cents and that makes it look official but it's also really convenient rather than just a solid plastic card that you have to put in a holder or something. This, I put one of those little red whips through and stick it onto my backpack. Then the other little thing here for $2 is the holographic over laminate. And with this on there, it doesn't say anything. It's just a globe that reflects on there. But remember, if your only job is to convince someone that you're official, it goes a long way to making it look like you didn't print it yourself because it has a holographic overlay. So if you want to get a lanyard or anything, they have that all in there. Um, and then you click add to cart. 
and, and go through the shipping process. But that's all I did to make mine, and mine has had no problems getting me on any flight that I've needed to. But again, it really is a partnership of you having something that looks official and you being genuinely nice and explaining, you know, you're, you're not trying to take advantage of anything. You're trying to make things easier for the other passengers and safe for yourself. So make sure that if this is something you do, you don't abuse it. There's a lot of people with a lot of gear and we're all trying to make things. And if you're somebody who's going to try to take advantage of the system and just pre-board when you're going on vacation and you don't even have cameras with you, you're going to end up making this harder for a lot of us. So please be polite as you do this only use it when you really really need it uh, if you've got I'd love to see your layout if you make one and end up printing it I'd love for you to send me a photo uh, on Instagram just so I can see what other ones are out there thanks for watching see you later